I'm going to be opening up and taking a look at a kit here from Games Workshop. It's for Warhammer 40k, the Tyranid line. And this is a Horospex, which can be seen here, but is also a dual kit for a Exocrine, which can be seen here. This is kind of a big cannon beastie here that uh, shoots from medium range, I guess. And we have a kind of a close combat beastie here. The close combat beastie, I believe, is a fast attack, elite choice, and the extra cream is a heavy choice. I'm not sure if that's usually how they do the dual kits. Seems like in the past they both came from the same force organization chart. We have a base here for it. A large oval. It's going to be a two sprue. It's like the Hive Crone Harpy kit. It's not very complicated to put together. Lots of large plates for it. You can see here we have the nice instructions that they put out for these kits. It's kind of a 3D render. So we have, uh, well they usually start out with a common assembly area and then it goes into the parts where you have to uh, split it up. Looks like you have two parts of the lower body here. Which you're going to assemble first. Looks like you're going to have two parts of the mid body with kind of a uh, socket for the head here that go together and assemble and then attach to the lower body. We have two large armored plates that are going to cover up that torso section. Some vents that come out of the spine that assemble in two parts and then they're going to uh, they don't come out of the spine, they come out of the, uh, the side there. So one set on each side. You have the legs, they're going to be a two-part assembly. Two different ones of those. And those hook into the lower tail, uh, lower part of the torso. It's like we have two forearm pieces here, they're going to go into the upper torso and they're a Three piece assembly, so two halves and then a clawed piece, which is going to come together to give you kind of a knuckle up fist where it's going to be going on the ground, I believe. And if you can look at here, you can see how they kind of come out of the mid torso and go and kind of knuckle on the ground, almost like an ape, using his hands on the ground to support his body. So you get some various views of that there. And I believe that's where the common assembly is going to end. So it looks like in that head mounted piece. Right in this area here. You're going to have two different, like a head and gun assembly. And then like a head with a huge open maw. And this one also in the very front arm. you got just a set of small talons there but some huge crab claws on this one those seem to be the two major differences so for the exocrine you're going to get a two-part head assembly it looks like the cannon kind of attaches to the head and then uh, that all fits into the neck and then you've got two talons there that go into the arm piece and that would finish off the assembly for the exocrine except they show it putting on the base they show you putting it on the base last and then for the horror specs it's like you have a very complicated head assembly here we have a what looks like a tongue piece here where this piece just kind of fits onto the flat of that. And then you have a two-part head piece that goes together. And so that's going to be the head piece and the tongue piece. 
and then you have these two tentacled out pieces that wrap around the head and this piece so you're going to give you that central core there it's a lot of chaos looking stuff and then you have two mandibles that attach on the outside looks like some cartilage pieces that are going to go in between all that too and then that head piece sockets in and then you have the claws for the thing one for each side so you have two pieces of a basic assembly and then kind of two little pincer pieces that go together to form the rest of the claw and then those claws attach into the forward most arm piece and it looks like he gets a little tail addition too. A little three part, I know, a little two part tail that then attaches on the very end. I don't believe the actual thing had a little tail piece. No, he just has the straight little pointy tail. So that's kind of an overview of the assembly. We'll take a look closer look at some of the pieces now. So we have that's one, these are the two halves of the lower torso you can see. There's a half of the head for each one, for the exocrine and the horror specs, and then the other half of those heads are here. You have your crab claws. That looks like that's one piece of the crab claw. These are two Looks like they may be two of the little pieces that go into that. You have some of the vent stack that go on, on the back. These look like some of the mandible pieces for uh, the exploded uh, mouth of the horror specs. Some more vents. You have some of the mid arm pieces that kind of uh, hold down with a closed fist to hold the horror specs' body up the lower leg that go on the lower part of the torso you have some parts of the horror specs kind of main tom some more mandible pieces here some other little uh, mouthpiece there here's some of the cartilage Here's the socket piece for the head that gets squeezed in between the two torso pieces. There's another crab claw, some more of that exploded jaw of the horror specs. There's the other part of the crab claw. You have the two parts of the armor and then the two parts of the main body there that this armor fits over. There's the one half of the exocrine's gun the other half of the exocrine's gun, the exocrine's siding talon, siding talon and some more cartilage for the uh, horror specs's mount. So that is a look at the dual kit for the Tyranids, the horror specs exocrine from Games Workshop.